Now that is an aircraft. The B-17. Flying Fortress. That is just spectacular. Look at that. How would you like to go for a ride in this? Wow, this is absolutely incredible. Wow. Look at that. 50 calibers on the side. Bombardier would sit there. Of course, the pilots are down below. Actually, pilots are right above us. These are all the cables for the pilots. And the pilots would sit right up there. That's where the pilots would sit. That is incredible. Beautiful aircraft. The bomb bays. Look at all these bombs they'd have in there. That is incredible. And of course, the infamous <sighs> Look at this <sighs> You know what that is You know what that is Imagine squeezing into that A little ball turret Twin 50s, imagine how loud that got. A lot of stories about that bottom ball turret. I can't even imagine how the guys would sit in here with their feet all the way up there. And those little char deals are the charging handles for the 50s there and there and sometimes there's stories of the landing gear not being able to come down and so the plane has to land well if the wheel's not down this is the first thing to get knocked off <laughs> I can't even imagine that so you turn your your entire turret back and forth this way this is what rotates it around and then this is what pivots entire turret forward or back mm -hmm. and then this is how you fire your 50 cals one here and one here so you're flying holding this the whole time and you're looking out that window between your legs that way and here's your sight right here that you're looking through so your head's right here so here's a good illustration of how tight it gets inside those ball turrets and you better hope the landing gear comes down or you're not going to make it. Side gunner. Another 50 cal. And of course the tail gunner, that's got to it's going to be fun on the knees. A little bomb stored. Another ball turret on top. And there's where the pilot would sit, up on top. And then these, these guys will be in charge of the bomb coordinates on where to drop the payload of bombs. And of course, another 50 caliber there. Pilots would sit way up on top. And 
50 calibers all out the front. There's where the the bomber would sit up in the front nose. Then for training, you'd have these little these little turrets for them to practice in. This is what it looks like in the tail gunner. So you'll be on your knees the whole time. And there's your twin 50s. And there's your sighting apparatus up there. Amazing. Can you imagine riding in the back of this? Oh my goodness. That is something else. You just hear boom, 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 boom. Now that placket scared the heck out of you. The ball turret is kind of like, like this in between the tail position and the top turret position. All you can just see is that little ball. Then they'll open the hatch door and then you crawl down in there. And I was small in those days, 128 pounds. You lay down on the floor, and you're like this, and your guns and everything's right in between your legs. You're kind of in a position like this. You don't move much. You can go all the way around in this way, and this, which is real comfortable. You've got to be on the, on the ball. And as soon as you see him, boy, you got to hit him. I felt kind of scared down in that thing, but I just didn't really show it. I was proud to be down in there, really. I was proud to be down in there for my country.